send gifts. I love you guys on TikTok. Welcome back. I'm so sorry, guys. Instagram was messing up, so I had to invite everybody back afresh. <sighs> Instagram really needs to sort out their bugs. So, hey. Amma, Obi is back to the lead. Hey, Obi just dropped 5,000 stars. So, so far, Obi has overtaken Tinubu on Clash of the Supporters Star Wars. Hey, Team Obi is back. Oh, back to the top. Oh. Daddy Freeze. Oh, back to the top. Oh. It was me that had to declare the 5,000 stars. Hey! <laughs> that was mad. More oh. coming, more coming. Free. Mad, oh. Mad, oh. Mad. It was um, Musti. Oh, more. more. Do you know that? Do you know that? Um, bet the two of you, you and Brume, are controlling the Star Wars for Peter B side. Brume dropped three k. Priya dropped five k. Hey, not only have they caught up with Tim Tinubu, they have overtaken. Today looks like a, a different kind of day. Bungoli, where are you? Where are you, Re? Huh? Where are you, Re? Are you deji? Where are you, Re? Are you in a town hall meeting? Uh, you don't change your cap again. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. All right. They both had their turns, so it's turn. Tinubu now. You have exactly seven minutes like they had, even though they didn't use their seven minutes. So, let's make this happen. Go ahead. Your seven minutes starts. Yes. Um, yes um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And um, I would like to start with um, how we start our meetings. There's a song we usually sing, and it's um, it goes like this. On your mandate, we shall stand. We shall stand. On your mandate, we shall stand. On your mandate, Bola. On your mandate, Bola. On your mandate, we shall stand. Good evening, everyone, and um, welcome to the final episode of Clash of the Supporters. I want to thank you all very much for going with us on this journey for about six, seven months now. I want to give a special thanks to all of the team leaders, assistants or deputy team leaders, and all of the team members for the um, arduous work that they've done um, all through the six months. It's not been easy, six to eight months, it's not been easy. I want to thank Daddy Freeze also for giving us his platform. Um, and um, God bless everyone. And to you, the audience, even though you guys, um, you know, get overreaching, at times, I know I'm the most insulted amongst everyone here, but it's okay. We all want a better Nigeria, but it's bad behavior. You need to stop your bad behavior. Now, let us talk about what we have today. I hope you guys were able to uh, see our Lagos daddy today in his mega rally. Uh, you guys like the videos, right? It was so much fun, right? Lagos was bubbling today. Lagos daddy came home, and we his children had fun with Lagos daddy. And I am a had to call Rexy, a big king with Rexy. Rexy showed up too. All right, guys. Enough of the jokes and gimmicks. Now let us talk to let us let us talk about the subject matter today. And the subject matter no, today is about the elections. About I know. I know. It's fine. I know. I, I'm having I'm having a good time today. I'm in a celebratory mode uh, today. After what has been going on in the last couple of weeks now, so we are happy 
we're good. So I'm, I'm relaxed, you know. So um, I just want to tell you guys that um, 25th, in about three, four days, please go out and vote for your choice. I've never ever told anyone on this platform to vote or not to vote for anybody because I respect respect section 7 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. I respect uh, 77 and I respect 117, which gives you right to vote and be voted for. Now, Nigeria is in a tough spot right now. And Nigeria needs a planner. Now, I look at it this way. I see Nigeria with the way Buari has handled Nigeria as building some form of foundation and all of that, like leveling the ground and he's um, kind of like um, building foundations here and there. Now, Ashwaji is going to come and do what exactly he did in Lagos State. He's going to build the house, he's going to roof it, and he's going to tell us where furniture, lighting, appliances, and all are going to be. That is what he's coming to do, just like he did in Lagos State. Because in Lagos State, all of the things that you see today, like the metro rail line that you see, the 27 kilometer blue rail from uh, down to mile two, from I think from is it from somewhere in the island, it started during Ashwaju's time. It came to fruition now. So he is the master planner. Nigeria needs to get on a master plan, and we need to move forward with that and we also need continuity and who is the man that is proven to do that it is Ashwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. I can sit here and tell you about how much revenue we made I can sit here and tell you how many jobs he has created he has cre he's the number one creator of jobs in Nigeria's history and I don't think anybody can meet that feat because if you ask any Nigerian today you say hey what do you need? Oh, I don't have water. I don't have light. I don't have uh, good roads. Um, I don't have jobs. I don't have access to good quality education. I don't have access to good quality health care. You need money to fund and finance all of this. And who is the person that knows how to generate revenue? Is Ashwaju Ahmed Bolatinimbu. I know as a person that at times I get over a lot of people's heads here because a lot of people may not understand what I'm saying. For example, now, if I begin to talk about bonds and interest rates, if I begin to talk about Fitch rating, standard and poor ratings, if I begin to talk about Moody ratings and how it is going to affect Nigeria, because Nigeria has, been, has lost its ranking from a B grade to a C grade, meaning that bonds are going to be more expensive, going to be less expensive with a higher interest rate. Our nine commercial banks in Nigeria also, their ratings have reduced. Their credit ratings have reduced. People are like, why is Bongoli saying all these things? It is because once that reduced, for you to get funding to run your project becomes more expensive. Use Ghana as a case study. Ghana's bonds are in junk status. Who is the man that brought use, use bonds to raise money in Nigeria today, it is Ashwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu. When the federal government told him you cannot do it, it's impossible. Ashwadu Ahmed was able to bring 12 billion naira from the capital market into Lagos State for infrastructural development. We are not talking, like I always say, facts are facts, emotions are emotions, and facts don't freaking care about your emotions. We are talking about serious business here. We are talking about nation building here. We are sick and tired of all of this, hey, hey, we need to change, we need this, we need that. We need to change, yes, but who is going to bring the change? Mm. Uh, who is going to bring the change? Who is, who is the best person to bring the change? Who is the best that we have right now on the ballot box out of the 18 people? Is it Atiku? Atiku is known to come and sell assets. That's all he's doing. Like he said, I'm going to raise revenue by selling off our assets in the refineries. He has said it. It's a fact. Now, is he OP? Obi is one of the most unproductive governors in the history of Nigeria and it's a fact from the Accountant General Office in Nigeria and also the Budgetary Office of Anambra State. It's a fact. He's very, very unproductive. He doesn't know how to create jobs. He doesn't know how to raise revenue. 
He plunged Anambra State into poverty. Anambra State is the capital of Goli erosion. Guys, go on my on my on my uh, Instagram story right now. I'm challenging everyone here. Go on my Instagram story right now. You see the you see a little snippet of what that Adeola or Deku Road used to look like before Ashiwaju came on board. I'm at the bail away before Ashiwaju came on board. That silverbed Galeria, if not for what Ashiwaju did, will not have any. That's the first cinemas in Nigeria, like like mega cinema in Nigeria. It exploded that area, the Eco Atlantic area, and all of that. Go and look at then. Go and look at the video of Ashwaju and Babatunde Raji Fashola that he was pointing that time, that particular time. We didn't even know what this man was saying. This man said, "I have turned a liability to an asset." That was two decades ago. Now look at what happened last year. Uh, uh, Buhari or LEDC or last year, Buhari went to uh, commission the lucky trade zone today that man with his with his vision is bringing about 200 billion dollars of revenue into nigeria and also going to create 170,000 jobs over 170,000 jobs that is a visionary leader that is a thinking leader that man has put that's why we call him our lagos daddy our lagos daddy has provided what we eat our lagos daddy has provided what will give us revenue our lagos daddy has provided what will give us jobs go and look at lucky free trade zone Go and look at how we exploded that island that everybody's running to when they come to Lagos. Oh, I'm going to the island. Oh, I have a house in the. I have a house on the island. Is the man that did it? Oh, the people that say you know is here. Oh, 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 they have house there. Oh. Look at the house in Anambra State. Oh, their family has Anambra State. Oh, but they only know is here. Oh, 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 that's what we are talking about. We are talking about vision, vision, think. That's why it always just like this. Remove the shackles, think. We are talking about people that. We sit down and look at uh, and solve problems. Root, perform root cause analysis. Look at key operating parameters to move key key performance indicators. That's what I thought. I know I'm going above you people's head. Most of you, especially obedience. I think people those ones they don't know anything. Obedience, they think they know something, but they don't know. Those ones they don't know. They are very very. They, is they this an introductory statement? Is this an introductory statement? Is this an introductory statement? Please don't talk over me. Please don't talk over me. Please don't talk over me. Sell your, your candidate. Sell your candidate. Your candidate will not rest idea. He will rest with walking stick. 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 He will so, he said um, introduction, yeah, right? Yeah, introduction. Yeah, yeah, Do yeah, introduction. Yeah. Then when it's time for bus, we'll let's face each other. Bongoli, you have one more minute. I'm giving you actually have 20 seconds, but I'm giving you one minute to round off. Oh yeah, one minute fifty-nine. Uh, oh yeah, start now. Daddy Freeze. Priye is fond of talking over me. She has always been doing it. I never talk oh, over so her. Regardless of whatever the situation is, no matter whose ox is God, let me talk. Don't talk over me. Okay. You did it on Saturday. That is why, it on Tuesday again. That, that is why, wait, that is why I am giving you a full one minute to round off. So finish off. Okay. Let's go start immediately. Okay. Oh, yeah. Peter Obi is running an ethno religious campaign. Peter Obi is trying to divide the country. He will come to Lagos and go to Igbo dominated markets. You are trying to pit the Igbos against the Yorubas in the southwest. Now, Peter B will go to the north and go and be saying, Northern Christians, take back your country. What is the meaning of Northern Christians? What kind of politics is that? Dividing the nation, Andrew Liverpool Party. And you you just, when you see them talking like this, and you'll be like, ah, what are they even saying? When you go there, like, be like, ah, ah. Truly, these people, eh, they don't even know what they are talking about. Now, beginning, yeah, they don't even know how they even run elections, how politics is being run, how governance is being run in a country. Back to article, article will not escape. Musti, I know you are a farmer. I know you are a farmer. So today, I want to challenge you on what article is going to do as regards farming. What he said in his manifesto. Articles manifesto have read it. Obi's manifesto, I've read it. Articles manifesto is 74 pages. Obi's manifesto is 72 pages. 60 pages of whatever he was saying, like 
characters that has a, a, a bunch of uh, typographical errors and plagiarism. 12 pages of talking about his uh, two weeks uh, course, pro course that he did abroad or wherever he did it and said, oh, I, I, I'm well educated. But at the end of the day, when he was work, submitting his forms to INEC or, or his requirements to INEC, he submitted the YF form, GCE form, GC, GC results. He didn't submit the, the third class that he got from philosophy. So let us talk where talk is. I want to challenge you on that, on your manifesto. I want to challenge you on your manifesto. Tell us what the plans you have for Nigeria. I've read your manifesto. I've reviewed all your manifesto. If you lie, I will catch you today. So I want to challenge Musti on farming. Let's talk about farming. What plans does Atiku have for us as regards farming? Prior to what plans does Obi have as regards farming? Let's go there. I want to challenge you because that's your specialty. Because every time Musti will come here and say, uh, we want to uh, unify the country, unify the country, unify the country, and his Oga is the master divider of the country. Like he was going to tell VK today. The same VK is a coward. VK will show you. You will see. You will know who the coward is. VK will show you. I'm done that the freeze. Let's carry on. Oh, this is the last episode. Let's carry on. Thank you so much, DJ Bongoli. Um, guys, here's my advice. For the sake of overheating the quality, I would want us to be a little bit more calm and respectful one for the other. I know we're all passionate, and this message is particularly for DJ Bongoli. DJ Bongoli, please calm down a little. Okay, back to Star Wars. A combination of Prie and Brume have 8,000 stars. Also supporting them, we have Matai Mbo and Tobe Ngokolo, 530 stars each. So together they have 9,060 stars. But from nowhere, Tim Tinubu came and dumped 12,400 stars. So even though Obi has been doing so well today and Obi has been leading, Team Tinubu has taken over. Team Obi, you hear how Bungoli they make mouths. Make no let them carry this Star Wars. Oh. This is how you play Star Wars. Go to Facebook. Go to your Facebook. The only way you can buy stars is via Facebook. Go to Facebook. Search for Daddy Freeze. D-A-D-D-Y-F-R-E-E-Z-E. -D -D -E -E. Scroll down. This is what the page looks like. Scroll down to today's video. This is what today's video looks like. Click on it. Bottom left hand corner. Bottom left hand corner. You will see how to buy stars. So go there right now um, and show DJ Bongoli that you have the mind to not let him win. So we're about to start a 10 minute session of Bass Boost uninterrupted. I'm not going to say a word. You guys are going, someone says remove Bongoli. You cannot remove Bongoli. I can only tell him to calm down. Eh? Someone say, I think people know they buy stars. They never buy in a while. Ooh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a 10-minute time limit beginning now. Are you ready? If you are supporting Ashiwaju, if you are supporting Ashiwaju, I want you to put Bloom. Bloom in the comment section. Bloom revolution. Bloom, 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 you have a Muslim Muslim ticket. You have a Muslim Muslim. That broom, we go use that take white on Saturday. You have a Muslim Muslim ticket. I'm not talking about division. Hold on. Everybody calm. Boom revolution. Raise the broom. You Muslim, Muslim. What did she say, He's talking sir? about religious uh, and, and religi what? ethno religious um, campaign <laughs> and be talking about uh, what do you call it? Making you want to respond? Don't re do you, will you give me a don't respond. Don't respond. I'm talking. Will you talk no, 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 me? no. No, you can't will be talking talk about the division where your ticket does not will represent the entire church Nigeria. You cannot. You cannot. Go 
Basbos. It's Basbos. It's Basbos. Say your own. Let me say my own. Don't yes. worry. I'm here for you. Yes. Don't go there yet. You can't be talking about PCT. I can't be talking about religious device when your ticket does not represent Nigeria. Wait, guys. Wait, guys. Uh, okay, wait, now. Canada is back. Oh, my goodness. Timobi is back. Oh, Timobi. Priye. Kibuzo Unwokolo. Listen, make I give you the, the score now. Kimobi, Kibuzo and Wokolo, 6,000 stars. Priye, 5,000 stars. That's 11. Brume, uh -uh. 3,000 stars. That's 14. Mayas and Tobe and Wokolo, 1,000 stars together. That's 15,000 stars. Against Kinubu's 12,400 stars. Timobi is taking the lead again. Oh, my goodness. Kibuzo and Wokoye. Say hey, no, go. Atiku people, so, where, where are you? So, people, where are you? Where are you? Daddy are you? freeze. Not one star. Daddy freeze. Can I go buy star for now. All Daddy right, freeze. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to respond. You guys, I want to make one statement. One Not sentence. Not in bad, but sell your time. Oh yeah, I want to. Uh, you are I talking know. about a division, uh, but you have a Muslim Muslim uh, ticket. I How? So I want How? to respond. How? Just one statement. That is hypocrisy at its finest. That is what about the traditional you cannot be talking about you don't have the okay. moral ground to talk about all a right, new all right, all campaign right. you don't all right. all right what about the traditional worshippers what about them in nigeria we have three religions in nigeria i want to advocate for them since 1960 we have not had we a traditional worshipper what we about do not have three religions. We have two major religions, but we have many other religions. We don't have two religions. We have two major religions, and we have many other religions. So we don't have two religions. The traditional worshippers too are represented. We're not going to look at. However, they are the minority. We know we have two major religions. Two major religions. Two major religions in Nigeria. You have a Muslim ticket, and you are talking that you are you are casting. Getting other people about unity. Really? Really? I am asking really? you what about the traditional worshippers. Really? The traditional worshippers, if they bring a competent person, we'll put the person there. Yes. Nigerians have gotten to that point. Why so are you not choose, fighting for them? Why are you not saying? Over, why are you not saying? You have to represent the country. Why you can't have a Muslim Muslim ticket. The same way you will not tolerate a Christian Christian ticket. The same way you would. The same way you will not have two traditional rulers on a ticket. Your ticket is not balanced, okay. so you can't be well, talking about unity. Answer, you can't be talking about unity. An I know. Now let um, uh, Musti. We talk now, but hold on. In two thousand and eleven. ACN fielded Nuri Badu, who is the Muslim. And ACN also fielded Fola Adeola, who is also a Muslim. Why weren't people bringing up the Muslim Muslim ticket controversy then? They brought it up. now? Because they know that Lagos that is going to win. That's why they are talking like this. People brought it up. I remember the election. People brought it up. People brought it up. And now is a sensitive time in Nigeria. You shouldn't be talking about unity and they'll be doing the opposite. That is hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Well, look at you. Your, your own, your own, your own, your, you, your, your own candidate that is going to be religious. You brought up the religious topic. You brought up the religious topic. You brought it up. You are the one that brought it up. Lagos ends in Alaba. Lagos ends in Alaba. Why don't you go to Alaba? Don't worry. It's Alaba, not a market. The people don't worry. In Alaba, they're not human beings. Why can't he go to Sorry. Alaba? He can go to any market is, is and campaign. He did not go to only Alaba. You and I know that he did not go to only Alaba market. Ethno-religious, ethno-religious campaign. But you're only Muslim, Muslim ticket. You're only Islamic ticket. Dividing Nigerians on ethno-religious lines. Say the truth. Say the truth. Say the truth. I let them be ashamed. Say the truth. I'm not ashamed. You are the one with the broom carrying an object, but I can never be ashamed. You have a broom. That broom, man, will you step wipe your Saturday? Tell us, tell us the states that Peter B will win. Stop giving these people false hope. 
I'm not giving anybody tell, tell support. The way the I'm not kind of kindness. I can only urge people to vote, free vote free and free vote free right. Free I am not kindness. The only reason why people like free you free can claim that you can tell people the state free that free 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 because you want to read, vote by him. That's all people know. Dirty politics. That's all you people know. Dirty politics. That's why you think you can predict the election beforehand. No, you urge people to exercise their rights. You don't come and dictate. You are not kindness. You are not Please, boom, 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 You are not I net. You are not I net. Boom, 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 you have to in your brain. Bring, it's in your bring, imagination. Bring, 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 it's in your brain. Taobi will win the election and he will win it the right way by people casting their votes. He, 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 he has the popular vote. He has the popular vote. And we will wait for it to reflect at the polls. We will wait for it to reflect at the polls. You are not INEC. You are not INEC. And you are not the entirety of the Nigerians that are coming out to vote. The millions of Nigerians. You cannot. You cannot. I won't lie. Lie. Me and you is lying here. Me and you is lying here. If I know, of us, I know. They ask you now, you are saying the truth. If they ask you in front of everybody here now, you will say it's you that is saying the truth with your Muslim Muslim tickets. Let me drop the broom. Let me drop the broom. Let us be factual. Don't drop it. Can you tell me? Don't drop the broom here. Free, yeah. Can you tell people confidently that Peter will, 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 will even get 25% in this I, second state? Can you do not come here to answer your questions. I know he has the popular vote. 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 I know he has no, you no, we don't back. plan to read, so I don't have to touch him at the end of the day. So I'm not like you people that are planning to buy votes, so I cannot come and tell you. If people that have bought votes are always saying, oh, we will win this thing, because you finish buying votes. Will you get on the back of the guy in Jigawa? You won't go win an election, you will not get votes in Lagos, in Rivers, in Kaduna, in Kaduna. We will get votes. Stop lying to them. We will, we will get votes. Use your money to buy his next job. We will get votes. You know, we will get votes. You are using people to cash out. You are using people to cash out. Mm. You are using people to cash out. Cash out. Nobody is cashing out. Most talk about farming, Jare. Most talk about farming. No, no, no. The moderator of this show, Bongoli. You are not the moderator. He doesn't have to answer you on farming simply because you say so. We are here to debate and sell our candidates. You cannot order people to answer your question just because you feel like. No, no, no. You are not the moderator of the show. 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 You are not. So you cannot order people to answer your question as you please. We are here to sell our candidates. Let Muslim talk and let him say what he wants to say. Not he's not going to answer to you. You know me, Nebony. You know me, Nebony. Peter Peter is just going to come and be talking about problems, no solution. That was how we turn. We will make Nigeria from a consumption to production country. Tell us. To you guys talk uh let me just quickly say something that is very important i think sometimes when we have this argument i mean we have people watching this show some people are complaining i'm reading the comments that they can't hear it's too noisy and all that i mean it's okay for us to do bass news and everything that i agree but i want to go to bongoli bongoli first thing first you said something about did we see your rally today did we see the rally and you're supposed to be a politician and you're saying did we see the rally you're asking nigerians did we see the rally you know, really amount of vote. theatrics does all rally, the time. Does rally amount of vote. How many people on those in this rally have PVCs? Come on, Bongoli, we are all intelligent people in this game. You understand what I'm saying? You've never seen me one day come here to Prague. Look at what happened in Kazana, in Chiga. I'm sure you can't compare to what happened in Chiga and Lagos. But did you ever see me here come and talk about, look at the rally, look at the people there? It doesn't amount to votes. What amounts to votes is people that have PVCs. That's number one. So... I think that's just been a low blow. The other one you're talking about, uh, the road, that you actually did the road, uh, which road to say the, what's the name of that road again, you call? 
Right? As you already did one road, and because my children, that's why the road is much horrible. What is the job of a governor? If I ask you, what's the job of a governor? Why are you elected as a governor? You see, the thing you know, when I listen to Nigerians talk, oh, this governor, you see one governor come and say, ah, I've created this road. He's celebrating, he's making noise, he's doing this, he's doing that. What, what were you there? Why, why are you there in the first place? We should look. We're intelligent. But let me finish. You keep saying, Ashwaju did this, Ashwaju did that. That's why he was elected as a governor. That's why he was, that's his job. It's like, it's like a teacher going to a class and he's proud of saying that I'm teaching the students mathematics. I'm teaching English. Why, why, why am I a teacher? You know what I'm saying? So I think we should move away from all this rhetoric about uh, because of this person. First of all, I always say it. I will come to Peter Obi as well. You know, look, I, I, I talk facts. I, I don't, I don't just meddle around things. You understand what I'm saying? Bola Tinubu, absolutely fantastic governor during his time. He did what he had to do. I, I mean, I'm not going to come here and play dirty politics. I don't play dirty politics. I don't say it the way it is. Whether you like me for it, you hate me for it, it's your business. You are at the end of the day. But I'll say the way it is. Bola Tinubu became governor in 1999 and left in 2007. He did what he had to do during his study. All the other governors came after him. So when you people keep attributing the success or whatever Lagos is today to a polar led to I keep laughing at people. It was why you laugh? I, I laugh at you people like why do you attribute everything now? Blue train is polarity. Yellow ray is polarity. Black ray is polarity. It possible for cinema. It's a a you know, private enterprise is now volatile. I, I have a lot of respect for these candidates. They've done, everybody did. It's only my cabinet that wasn't a governor. My cabinet wasn't a governor. Even though he won the governorship, he wasn't a governor. He didn't act as a governor in the capacity of a governor. Then maybe today we'll argue and see, let's compare both. But let me tell you something. At the end of the day, when they elect you as a governor, it's for you to, for you to, make, for you to create roads, you know, provide infrastructure, within the jurisdiction of the state government, it's that's what you're elected. So why come to brag about it? Yeah, okay, they hire me as a teacher to go and teach in school. Then I'll be bragging that I'm teaching my students. Does it make any sense to me? You know, sometimes, I, I don't think we have a problem. We have a problem. Look, if a governor comes and do what he has to do, he has done his time. He has gone. Nobody, every time I hear the PAT will speak, it's like, oh, Lagos State, Bola Tribu, Lagos State. What happened to Fashola? What happened to other governors that came? So, so they are not important. Whatever they have done, remember, even in their, even if you go back to the campaign of 2007, when they were campaigning, they didn't say continuity. That was not what they said. I follow the elections. I'm a grassy person. You understand? So as it's not like we cannot are saying that, oh, you know what? We want continuity. So why are you attributing? Whatever is happening now, to Bola Metinubu, we don't do respect. Sir. That's my question. That's, that's one of my biggest. That's the question I'm asking you now. Sir. Can you please you know tell why? Nigerians you know why? You know why? that Bola Tinubu you know is not a created blue ring okay. or red okay. ring? I be green. I be yellow. I be purple. You know, he literally you know like does that kind of because of Bola Tinubu. Yeah, you know I like this kind of thing. Please, please be. Like see, literally, our voice has come down now. Pre, pre, let's relax now. Pre, calm, let's calm down. Let's relax now. Let's talk now. You know why? Bola Ahmed, Bola Ahmed Tinubu stands out. It stands out because most of the policies and most of the jobs he created in Lagos State have been adopted by over 50 to 70 percent of states across Nigeria. For example, Office of the Public Defender, people that do not have enough money to fight for their rights in the court of law. He created that. Now you have that in over 15. But now we have that. We have that. No, no, I'm giving you. No, no, hold on. Your point. That has been said. Hold on. Hold on. on. I said, I said Ashwaju. No, Office of Public of uh, of Defender was initiated by Ashwaju Bola Metinubu. Let's be in Lagos State. In Lagos State. In Lagos State. Not Nigeria. Now, now, also when we talk about funding. Hold on, hold on. You see, hold on. When we talk about funding, Ashwaju Bola Met. Is the first man in Nigeria's history to sell bonds to raise revenue, which is the model that other states in Nigeria are using to raise revenue. Thirdly, Ashwadi 
Ola Metinumbu by him making LIRS autonomous by the Tax Act of Lagos State in 2006 was able to expand the, the revenue base of Lagos State, expanding the tax base of Lagos State. And other states in Nigeria are copying that same model. State. Now, one. let's talk about one state. state. For example, if you are giving an example, let's talk about one state. For example, what do you mm. let, Let's talk about in Ogun State. You have the ambition. Let's talk about Lasma, for example. About 15 states have it. You know what's in fact? Let's talk about Anambra. Do you know that mm. Labour Party don't have money to uh, pay for poster? So, Soludo uh, went there and took down the poster. Uh, and Soludo used what? The Anambra yeah, State DBS Signage DBS and Ambat yeah, Agency. Do you know that that Anambra State yeah, Signage DBS and Ambat Agency came from Lagos State Signage and Ambat Agency? She was actually that I initiated it. Anambra State copied it. They used it to bring down a big poster. You see why she just stands out? Do you know that in the in Nigeria's history, there's no state that has been able to during the national Mongolian, 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 about 10,200 percent increments in IDA. No, do you want me to during the national anthem? You are saying something. This is not capable. This is very capable of making decisions. Say it for now. He is not capable of making decisions. Go on Google and search it. Prie. What I've said is verified. Go on Google and search it now. Is it in Nigeria? Is it in Nigeria? All you talked about was corn. Your entire campaign trail, all this man talked about was corn. This is a man that raises his stick during the national anthem. He is um, incapable of making those decisions see, that you brag about. Let me tell you something. He's no Bongoli, longer let capable. Let me, tell, let me put it to you. Oh, 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 let me put it to you. Somebody that's from a state Bo that they are 88.5% poor. Bongoli, oh, you let me don't know. Bongoli, let me put it to you. He is from the Western state and they are 88.5% poor. They will yes, not focus so. on their states. And they will not focus why, on Lagos state. They are most dimensionally poor in Nigeria. Lagos is not Nigeria. I talk about Nigeria. You spin and spin all around Lagos, and I continue to talk about Nigeria. You are the only person that speaks about Anambra. I talk about the Anambra. Anambra is under over forty percent erosion. People should be here. But if I'm sorry, they think that you are doing so. I think that's all the erosion for them. They need they need it to be there. You will fix the island. We are doing everything. Don't listen to Bongoli. Bongoli is not talking. This is a promising for salt bread. We are a Nigerian people, and it's Nigeria that matters. Lagos is one state out of 30 Priya, states. tell us what we have done and what, what we will do. Territory. You and we don't have anything you, to say. We have. And we have. We have. We talk about, about it all about the farming. time. People cannot tell me about farming. Tell you me about farming. You are a farmer. 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 Tell us about farming. You are not the majority of this show, so no, I don't have to you. You are in consequential. Not going to four million votes. Time up, time up, time up, time up. You guys overshot the time with seven minutes. Now, now while you guys count down, let me tell you what's been going on in the Star Wars department. So before you, this is how you buy stars. Go to Facebook, search for Daddy Freeze, D-A-W-D-Y-F-R-E-Z-E. -E. Scroll down to today's video. When you get to today's video, go to the comment section. You will see how to buy stars right there in the comment section. Bottom left-hand corner. It's looking like right on this side, but it's bottom left-hand corner. Click on the stars and buy your stars. Right now, Team OB has 8,000 stars from Priye, 6,000 stars from Chibuzo Nwokoye. That's a total of 14,000 stars. 3,600 stars from Brume. That's a total of 
17,600 stars. 530 stars from Martas and 530 stars from Tobe. So that is a total of 14, 14 plus 3, 6, 17, 6 plus 1, 1 K. That's 18,600. While Team Tinubu has 20,000 stars. A very close race. Uh, Team OB is doing so well. They are just 1,600 stars short <coughs> of Team um, Tinubu. So right now, Team OB is coming in with Mataya, just sent 400 stars, closing in the gap. So it is no longer 1,600 um, stars, but now 1,200 stars. So OB is rapidly closing the gap we don't have a representation for Team Atiku Abubakar. How much is that all? How much is all value? I don't so know. Atiku dollar. Atiku dollar. Atiku dollar for Dubai. No, because, because in Nigeria, let me tell you something. Most of the most of the cards you're using, like you guys are broad. You can use your credit cards, it's easy and all that. In Nigeria, we always have this. Even today, a lot of people couldn't transfer. I can't even buy lights. I'm running jail. Because the system, they broke, the whole thing is broken down because of what APC is doing. Because of APC. Because people want to buy votes, you, you, you like to buy votes. And you're people making crying wolves. Yeah, the same That's why you're yeah, 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 jumping from one TV right, station to another. Yeah, no, 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 jumping up and down, jumping up and down. Hold on. There's no money. Maybe they are taking all the money. So you say that we don't vote or we read. Everybody, hold on. Hold on. Now, hold on. I'm going to add another segment, okay? And that is a five minute each for all of you to read to the bass bulls. What you could not say in the bass bulls, uninterrupted now, you all have five minutes each. Then we are going to go to bass bulls two, and then we end the show. So right now, each of you is going to have five minutes to speak uninterrupted, because I saw that Priye was shouting, wah, 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 wah. Bongoli was shouting, hum, 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 hum. Musi was like this, he could not put a word in. So you can guys now have five minutes whatever you feel if you feel bongoli said something wrong or if you feel priya said something wrong or musti wants to say something this is your time what do you guys think five minutes each priya, daddy, I please, want to, yes, daddy, please, I, I want to crave your indulgence please can you give us a section maybe inside the five minutes where because i want to because we have a can we, we have elections on the 25th now many a times when we come on this program whenever we ask people questions. Like, for example, when I ask Priye or Musti, what is your candidate going to do on agriculture? Or what, like Priye, I'm asking her, how will your candidate turn consumption to production? Because I've, I've read his manifesto from front page to the last page. Can you explain to your people, sell it, let us hear. That if it's, I think there should be that option, like you should talk. Because Priye will say, no, 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 no. Or we are not going to share our strategy. Oh, no, 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 no. It's no, to, it's to that's How only for security. I want to learn. That's only I for security. I want to learn. I want to learn. You know, let, me, let me correct. Let me correct. Let me correct. Let me correct. Oh, okay, let me correct what you just said now. And, and I'm, calling, I'm correcting the standpoint of politics and how politics works. You understand? You said, you said that you read our manifesto, right? You said, yes. you said it. Mm -hmm. I read our manifesto mm -hmm. and you read the opinion manifesto. You actually gave the number of pages, yes. right? Since mm -hmm. you read our manifesto, you read it, right? You read it. Mm -hmm. do, you, mm -hmm. do you understand the manifesto? Is another two thing. Oh, absolutely. Then why absolutely. you ask me to Why you ask me to explain my manifesto to you? Oh, no, 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 no. See, sir, this is very simple. Mm. I'm going. Let me go. Let me. Let me. Let me. You know why you're picking agriculture? No, 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 let me no. pick. Pick another topic. Why are you picking agriculture? Oh, because that is what you are, you are doing. Abado. That's what you're doing. Let them know how to do Abado. <laughs> That's why you're picking that question. Why did you just choose? Why did you choose a general question <laughs> that has been common Nigeria? Food, food, food. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on, come on.
Mm. Hold on. This is what I want to say now. This shout out this lover. Shout out this lover. Shout out this lover. Shout out to you. Thank you very much for helping me and I'm blasting. Thank you very much for helping me. I'm the first to talk. Oh, I'm the first to talk. Bongole, can you ask a question? You are not the moderator. You are not the moderator. I'm asking you. You are not the moderator. I have the right to ask you. Answer the question. Okay, I will answer. Okay, I will answer. With your pop like Chief Fernandez in Shanty Town, you will you will hear me today. Now, now we yeah. you're not in Chief Fernandez. So, Chief Fernandez, Chief Fernandez, Chief Chief Fernandez please. Put your mouth. No good. No. My fellow people. No, uh, me, my I, fellow get, people. I get bad mouth. Though. I get bad no, mouth. Though. I did not. Did I did not hear you. Now. Uh, question. Sell your candidate, consumption to production. Sell your candidate. I know you're you reading are computer. Read it anyway. I'm not reading read computer. It. I have my mind. Read it. Master. We might not need to read computer. She can't say it. She's looking for it. She's yes. looking for it. I know them. I don't need to explore it. I know them. I know oh, yeah. them. He's not letting me oh, talk. Yeah. He's it, not letting me talk. He's not letting me talk. No, no. Nobody yes. can at this stage. Everybody has their five minutes. So if you want to ask question, we have a 10-minute segment of Bass Bros after this five minutes each section. Are you guys okay? Five minutes each. Are we ready? Oh, yes. That the freeze. All right. All right. So Priye goes first, Musti goes second, uh, Bongoli goes third, right? Nobody is allowed to interrupt. If you interrupt, you lose one minute from your time. And if you, inter if you say, huh, finish, you, you have only four minutes to talk. So if you interrupt three times, you have two minutes left to talk. If you interrupt five times, no need. We'll just jump you and pass. So no interruption Priye, your five minutes starts now okay while my fellow debater is here for the theatrics i'd like to get serious a little bit the reason why i'm referring to my manifesto is usually it's it's only um appropriate that i give you exactly what peter obi says now a section of his manifesto states that he would be working towards leapfrogging us into the fourth industrial revolution and reducing oil dependency. Production-centered growth, meaning we get to work on our natural resources, which includes farming. Everybody that has listened to Peter Obi knows that he constantly makes reference to our arable lands in the north and how we can leverage that and increase food production in Nigeria. I am summarizing it because I'm not here to read everything verbatim to verbatim, but I'm not here for theatrics either. However, however, Peter Obi has made reference to agriculture. Apart from what is written here on the campaign trail, he has talked about working with the bank of industry to make grants available for farmers to go back to their farms. And mind you, we cannot be talking about farming when our country is not secure. That is why his number one, his number one priority is securing and uniting Nigeria so that people can go about their businesses, including farming. Because without security, you cannot move produce from point A to point B. And that is just a, a fact. Every sector of Peter Obi's manifesto is interrelated. And that is why I have to make reference to multiple points. We cannot be talking about farming when farmers are kidnapped when they go to the farms. So yes, I am not here to be your project manager to tell you we are going to plant yam in Benue State and we are going to plant corn in Lagos State. No, we will figure all those things out as we work on the projects bit by bit by rolling out policies. These things take planning. And I'm not on this live to plan for Peter Obi's government. Neither am I here to answer to, uh, what's your name again? Ayodeji Bakari, a.k.a. DJ Bongoli, or whatever you call yourself. 
bottom line is from production from consumption to production for our people to go back to the farms they have to be secure and for them to produce that they need to be empowered farmers need to have the support financially and with the right technology through skill acquisition training and deployment of resources to the rural areas for them to either automate their farming processes or mechanize their farming and that is what peter obi will do i'm not stammering i'm talking if you can't hear me well that's on you but bottom line is i'm not here to entertain anybody it's actually very very important that we take it seriously for people to even function and be innovative they have to have their basic needs met and security is one of them without security they cannot exchange goods and services they cannot migrate in peace and do business as they should provide services if they may so these are the things peter Obi will do he has spoken about them constantly on his campaign trail and i'm going by that thank you secondly peter m bongoli sorry now bongoli spoke about um oh peter will be this peter will be that uh, uh, tinubu did many things i'm sorry to say you might have very great ideas but your candidate has not done a good job in expressing them he has not done it this is a man that raises his stick high during the national anthem that is who we are to trust with decisions in this country with how bad things are and the constant reference to continuing from where buhari stopped is an insult to the nigerian people because clearly the quality of their lives the standard of living of the average nigerian has has plummeted under this government nigeria has become the poverty capital of the world so when you say he will continue from where Buhari stops, I, I, I really don't understand. It's not your time. You are not the timekeeper. You are not the timekeeper. Bottom line is, in implementation, implementation and, and policies and ideas are very easy to say. When it comes to um, the, the time when Peter B becomes president, we are able to now physically do those things. And we have to do that through intensive planning not by me on this life explaining to you that yam is going to be in benu and we'll catch fish here and we'll go to Bayelsa and we'll feed the fish like this no that is not it so please um that if i also like to ask for something while we talk about how we conduct ourselves you know i explained something to you right I said it's it's easy for people to say, oh, someone does not let them talk or the person is badly behaved while doing the same thing. And that's what I noticed with the APC team. They 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 thrive on hypocrisy a lot. That's how they they even the whole campaign period, that's all they've done, exhibit hypocrisy. But I'm not here to prove that or anything. I'm here to point out the fact that we need to steer our country in the right direction and only people with good intentions can offer you that it's very easy to drum up a manifesto this man here has spent the last few months explaining a manifesto that his own candidates only refers to corn throughout we've had nothing nothing tangible from this candidate yet he comes to tell us ashwaju will do this and do that please guys you have the right conscience vote your conscience Thank you. Um, all right, I'll move over to you. Your five minutes starts now. You You're are muted. muted, sir. Daddy Freeze, don't um, pardon me if I'm looking away. Sorry, I have something going on on my screen while while attending the live. Thank you. Perfect. 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 Musti, you are still muted. We can't hear you. No, because I want to respect everybody. I don't want to awesome. get into awesome. the yeah. Well, anyways, let me just let's look, 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 look. Let's just let's just put this thing straight. I mean, we have three days to election, or four days to election. Okay, Nigerians are angry. A lot of things are happening under this APC-led government. You understand what I'm saying? And Nigerians are going to the polls. 
what we should be thinking about, what Nigerians now should be thinking about is, look, among this candidate, who is the person we can trust, regardless of whether you've been a governor or not? You know, it's so funny that APC will come and tell Nigerians they want to save they want to save Nigeria from APC. I still don't understand that logic. I don't get it. But I don't know. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, as I said, is a respected person. I respect him a lot. This is the same man, including Peter Obi. None of them. These are the same two people that have said Atiku is the best man for this country. It's proven. It's there online. You can go and check it. But why are we, the supporters, trying to... You know, I read the comments. I see a lot of things that's happening in the comments. You know, some, of, some people are just saying... They're just angry about how they feel. You understand? But let me tell you something. Just to cut this, me, I don't get time. Because I don't get time for a long story. Me, I'm a man that just goes straight to the point. First thing first, APC has messed up this country. Whether people say that Atiko is part of who they have brought, worry or not, that is, they have a right to their own opinion. I always say people have a right to their own opinion. But you see, how do you explain to Nigerians that APC will save us from APC? I still don't get how that's going to happen. Because the same APC today is the one crying wolf. Why are they crying wolf? Isn't it because how they win elections by buying votes? We are the opposition. We are not crying wolf. You are the ruling party. You are crying wolf. And you are the same people when this policy came up, when the CBM, whoever the advisors is, brought this thing to the, to, to the president, you guys were there at the get go. Why didn't you cry wolf at that time? So see, let's, you know, at the end of the day, we will be according blames to people. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in really according blames. Like somebody said in the comment section that I'm just saying Atiku is a good man. What has Atiku done? I'm not here to explain to you what Atiku has done. If you follow politics and you follow the, the issue about Nigeria, because a lot of people today, they just, they've just taken this opportunity and say, you know what, I'll just come and say whatever I want to come and say. But if you have followed politics or follow the problem of Nigeria or the democracy of Nigeria from 1999 to now, I mean, it's very, it's, it's very funny to come and ask me what Atiku has done. Not in the capacity of the state, but in the capacity of the whole country. So at the end of the day, whether you say Atiku has sold this and not sold that, and I've said it from, you know, from get-go, when we start this election, when we start this debate, if you can't show me proof beyond reasonable doubt, as far as I'm concerned, you're just talking gibberish. As far as you're concerned, that's, and I don't care how anybody feels. But the truth about it is that Bola Tinubu is the leader of the APC. He was here when all these things are happening. He saw the way the Buhari led government has drained Nigeria to the ground. He didn't criticize them. Now, the Nara policy, he's criticizing. So sometimes I get confused. I'm like, what are you even talking about? You know, it could, I, I get confused. The same Bola Tinubu, with all due respect, was there when all this, when Nigeria was going down the train. Why did the guy move? Why did he come out and criticize the president at that time? It is now that the thing is affecting them now. They're crying wolf. And why is it affecting them? It's because they're used to vote buying. That's all APC know how to do. Just yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, Governor Damo was buying votes. I mean, it wasn't him physically, but I saw it on the news. They were buying votes on behalf of Governor Damo, who's an APC guy. Who is the same guy, according to you, Bongoli, that Asiwaju is the one, is the maker of men, that brought him and the assured that they even said that if not for him, that we wouldn't have won election. It's the same person caught on tape. So what is how is APC going to save Nigeria from APC? I still don't understand that. But all I'm going to say is this, it's very simple. You know, we can't like everybody. And I will never disrespect any of the presidential candidates. You understand? And say, you know what, uh, he's this or that or he's I won't do that. I've said it from day one, I don't play dirty politics, I just look at what it is and I say the way it is. Yes. I'm not saying we are sent, but we have the technical know-how because we have been at that rim 
on the federal level. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to believe articles is spread higher, it's up to you. But the truth about it is that look, article is better off. Nigeria, sorry, is better off on the article because the man has got experience on the federal level. He's got experience in the international level. I'll give you an example. The observers came today in Abuja to observe elections. President Tambo in Beki, a well-respected African leader, paid Atiku a courtesy call. All the people that came paid him a courtesy call, not just because he's one of the candidates, because they know he's the man that has experience. So at the end of the day, let us not be worrying ourselves about uh, because you go and see crowd. Uh, Bolatu will be saying that I will see what we do in Lagos. Did we come and make us a work within the Jiga or, or in, in, in Adama? Where tons of millions of people came out. That is not that's not our strategy. We are our eyes on the ball. We focus on the ball. How do we win this election? How do we get the registered voters to go out on 25th and vote our candidate and vote our principal? That's what our eyes are on. We're not here to play dirty police and be abusing people and be saying this one didn't do this one. That is not what a PDP stands for. You understand? And as I said, and I want Nigerians to hold me to my words. I'm not saying that we are 100 percent sex. Every human being has its own flaws. But compared to Ashiwa, the, 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 the APC, come on now. It's very glaring. It's very glaring. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm urging the Nigerians, meaningful Nigerians, the youth, you believe you want to change this country. You believe you want inclusiveness. You believe you want to be carried along. Take example, just look at the APC government. Look at the present APC government. Tell me how many people you have there that are youths. Tell me how many people in this APC-led government that are youths. Mm. But look at, 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 at Atikus, you know, president. Look at from when he was VP, when he brought in all those people, them Elbow Fahey and all those people that came in. They were young. Look at their age. How old were they? So if you believe you want someone with experience, someone that believes in unifying this country, someone that believes, you know what, we have to come together as one to make Nigeria a better place, to get to solve these insecurity problems, you know, true federalism, education, bring back the economy, the man that understands the economy. Vote Atiko Abakar on the 25th. Thank you so much. All right. Time up, finally. And now, your turn, Musti. You've got <coughs> five minutes to Time starts now. Thank you very much. Um, firstly, if you guys notice my body language, when the Peter Obi rep was speaking, I was just laughing because the Peter Obi rep, when she was, she, she even had the expo in front of her and could even explain what Peter Obi was going to do. And one thing she did was she never said how, even though it's there. But I know because if you look, read Peter Obi's manifesto, it is all around the place. This is what Yorubas call your Pomori. It's all around the place place. It's all just mixed mash and everything. So she couldn't even understand it because maybe that's the first time she's reading it. Now, um, she kept on talking about the economy. I'll talk about Ashwaji's economic plans. I don't have to read anything to tell you guys that. But for Expo again, you guys go on YouTube right now and type Tinubu NESG conference. Go online now and go and watch OB NESG conference. You see that one has higher views than the other. One has has more views than the other. You listen to what they have in store for us, and you now compare which one should be my president or which one shouldn't be my president. As for Atiku, I was saying that uh, Tinubu was calling a governor something uh, and all of that. Remember, is this Tinubu that saved you, your Atiku, when Abbas wanted to turn into a roasted goat? That's what my principal said. No one to turn into a roasted goat. He saved him in 2007 from his boss. So now, with all that being said, now let's talk about Nigeria's economy here. Ashwaju's plan for Nigeria. Now, it starts with the GDP, the gross domestic product. And with the gross domestic product, that is the amount in goods and or in services, putting a cash value that has been made in a country um, domestically, locally. Nigeria currently, as of 2021, stands at 440 billion US dollars. Ashwaju's plan to raise that by 10% year on year are what I'm going to discuss. Firstly, it starts with a, budget, a growth based budget, meaning that 
when you fund your budget, it's not going to use the regular template of how much is a barrel of crude oil. Right now, the barrel of crude oil is at about 83. I think in the budget of 2023, which is about 21.8 trillion naira, I think it's about 75 dollars per barrel. Our budget is 21.8 trillion. So we're not going to use that template anymore. It is going to be growth based. If I pump this money into the certain ministry, into the certain department, into the certain agency, how much am I going to get in return? What is the productivity? Now, for you to now it's a story for you to achieve all of that. Then you have to go into the national infrastructural policy of Ashwaju. It's very simple. We want to have brand new road networks. Brand new road networks that will connect from one state to the other, like similar to like in America, um, highways and all of that in the UK, M something, yeah, in Texas, yeah, Texas Highway 3, Highway 6, and all of that stuff. We want that. Now, it's going to go by the, press, uh, the, the, the current Buhari administrations because he understands the impact of electricity. Because with the right electricity, with the right electricity, you, you're going to pump in at least 35 billion US dollars into Nigeria's economy. So with, the, with that electricity plan, which the Buhari administration is putting in place, that's part of the, I'm going to keep on doing what Buhari is doing. I'm going to take over from there. That's part of it. The Presidential Power Initiative, that is the arrangement that was signed, agreement that was signed with Siemens, says that by the end of 2023, the amount of distributed electricity will be 7,000 megawatts. In 2024, the amount will be 11,000 megawatts. And in 2025, it's going to be about 20, over 20,000 megawatts. That is his plan. Because you understand that generate um, that our transmission is our biggest problem in that industry. There are a bunch of things I said in electricity in the manifesto. And I think power is uh, page, I think page 31 or something. So you can read the manifesto on that. But when he fixes that, then he understands the need of, we have to bring industries over into the country. The true meaning of the turning Nigeria from consumption to production. Now, it has to be import substitution. <laughs> that is by incentivizing this foreign direct investment. And that is where in the NESG conference, Ashwaji talked about one of the ways of raising revenues, where he talked about deferred taxes, discounting deferred taxes to expand the revenue base. That is genius. I have never heard that in my life before. You hear deferred taxes, but you hear discounting the deferred taxes to expand the revenue base. That is who I am supporting. Now, once you are able to tax, you are going to, it's going, it says it's going to tax luxury items, and it's going to bring Bring those, it's going to make sure that it tax them so that they'll be like, hey, you need you to cite your industries here, your manufacturing industries here. Because, guys, guess what? It is when you add value to that raw materials that it becomes finished goods. And that's how you create jobs. I'm a chemical engineer and I've been practicing for about 10 years here in America. That's how I make my money. That's how I'm being paid because I add value from a raw material to finished goods. Now, once it's done with that, then the next thing is tax expansion. Tax expansion. Expansion doesn't mean raising taxes. It's going to look at the corporate tax because we have the finance uh, uh, tax, uh, the finance act. I think that was in um, 2020. How can we expand that? How can we ensure that people pay what they are supposed to pay? How are we going to ensure that people get value for their money when it comes to taxing, taxation? Now, once it moves away from that, it's going to look at the monetary policy. And that's one of the ways of making revenue. You talked about it in the NESG conference. It's going to stop round tripping, currency round tripping, meaning you go to the federal government, you get dollar 450, 450, 455 interbank rates, and then you get that and you pump that into the Nigerian market or wherever you want to spend that money, and it's at 750 to a dollar. And then when you want to refund that money back, you are going to refund that money back with the rate of 450 naira to a dollar. That means you made 300, that is 300 dollars 300 naira to a dollar that the federal government is missing revenue it's going to stop all of that it's going to work alongside with the cbn to ensure that that monetary policy is fixed because the fed the, the cbn is in charge of interest rates right now and that's part of the issues we're having when we talk about cash reserve uh, cash reserve ratio because right now the cbn with that naira policy that they put in place they are actually violating the cash reserve ratio of these commercial banks in nigeria because it's at 32.5 percent meaning you must have that is 2.5% in, in, in value of cash versus how much it is actually recorded as the money that is being saved in your bank. Now, moving forward from that monetary policy, then it's going to work on what is called the national 
infrastructure, a the national industrial policy. Now, with the national industrial policy, this is what I showed you saying. He's saying in the north, we are going to bring back the textile industries. We are going to fund them. Because when we talk about funding, Ashwadi is the number one generator of funds in the history of Nigeria. There's no doubt. There are no ands, ifs, or buts here. He says he's going to bring the textile industry in, in the north. Also in the north, the mining of gold. The mining of gold also in Oshun State also. Now, in the north central, we are going to ex exploit and explore the mining of mineral resources for our benefits in Nigeria. Then when you go to the southeast, we're talking about labor-intensive manufacturing, where we are going to dredge the Calabar, the Calabar, the Calabar, um, what's it called, seaports. Then you have the Honest seaports. You have the uh, Port Harcourt seaports. And you have the, Cal and you have the Wari seaports. We are going to work on all of that. Oh, that please, I'm sorry. And then in the south, in the southwest, the glass industry. We have the best sands in the southwest. It's going to turn into a glass industry. I didn't even talk about consumer credit system, where we're going to have mortgages in Nigeria, and it's going to provide that. I didn't talk about the housing system. Oh my God, that please, I'm sorry. It is just too much. The plans that showed you us is just too much. Thank you. Uh, that's just on the economy alone. No? I'm sorry, that please. Thank you. That's only on the economy alone. I just talked about too. I didn't talk about healthcare, education. I didn't talk about agriculture. I didn't talk about security. I didn't talk about youth, um, uh, youth and, uh, and women empowerment. I didn't talk about judicial reforms. I didn't talk about power. I didn't talk about oil and gas. I didn't talk about digital economy. I didn't talk about, I didn't talk about um, 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 foreign policy. I didn't talk about I'm judicial up, reforms. I, I'm power. I'm up, I'm up. I can go on and on, Daddy, please. I'm sorry. Okay. I can go on and 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 on. No, this has been longer than we planned the marathon. We've been on for... Uh, boom, 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 revolution. Hi, right, guys. Big shout out to Team Tinubu. They are currently leading Star Wars with 20,000... Oh, my goodness. 20,000 stars, but Team Obi has taken over. Priye, 9,000 stars. Chibuzon Wokoye, 6,000. That's a total of 15,000. Brume, 8,000. That's a total of 18,600. To Bechuku Unwokolo, one six. That's a total of nineteen six plus four. That's twenty plus two twenty thousand two thirty. Matthias, one thousand and thirty. So that's twenty one thousand and Mabofumi. So, um, big shout out to Timo B. They've taken over back from. Team Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And I am going to close the Star Wars in exactly 15 minutes. And in that 15 minutes, we're going to have 10 minutes of bad bass boost uninterrupted. Immediately it's 10 minutes, I cut it off. Then one minute each for your sign off. So 15 minutes starts now. We are closing the Clash of the Supporters, the Ultimate Edition. Uh, we have literally three or four more days to election. We have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three days to election. Saturday doesn't count because Friday at midnight, nobody can. After Friday midnight, nobody can campaign again. So we're going straight to uh, the elections per se. Um, big shout out to Tim Tinubu. They've taken over back again. They're now on for 22,000, while Team OB is on 21,000. So, Team OB, rush over to Facebook, search for Daddy Freeze, D A W D Y F R W E Z E. Scroll down to today's video and buy your stars. Uh, Team Tinubu has taken over again. Team Obi was leading just now. It's been it's been close all evening. Sadly, we do not have uh, a representation for Team Atiku Abubakar. So, guys, are you guys ready? Exactly ten minutes. The time begins now. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Everybody ready? One Bangali. time. You, stop, you must stop. Bangali. ready? Can I ask you one thing, please? What's what's your or your manifesto? I've not read your manifesto. What is the first agenda of your manifesto? Security page five. Huh? Security page five. So that's the first 
item on your uh, your your manifesto are you no, sure no no if are you talking about the forward there is the forward right. thing f-o-r-e-w -E 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 if you've read Atiku's manifesto right you said you read it right yes and yes you go, i have it, yes so i'm asking to you now i'm putting i'm asking you now tell nigerians yes sir. what is the first item on your manifesto the table of contents if that's what you want to talk about not table, table of, of contents. Okay. you have this page and hey, that's you what i'm saying you have, hold on you have this page you have table of contents you have this forward and you have page five which is on security i've explained it to you what does he want me to say I just explained it to you now, sir. Bongoli. I just explained it. I broke it down. Bongoli. What do you want me to Bongoli. say, sir? When yes, you sir. are speaking, you are speaking to Nigerians and saying all the good things and all the things you're, you know, you say you can go on and on and on and on and on and talk about. So on that Thank manifesto. You. Thank you. Uh, yes, because you know me, I don't play any politics, but I just want to, I want Nigerians to be clear about something. On that same, yes, all the beauty and all these things that Ashwari wants to do, okay, for Nigerians, which of course, that's the problem of African leaders. You come and sell jumbo to people and say you want to do all this thing which you know is not feasible. But let's take it for as a benefit of doubt. All these good things, which one comes first in your manifesto? I just want to, I say security page five now. So that's what comes so your first agenda is security, right? Yes, yes my first so, agenda is security. Okay. Now your your candidate, your candidate, not you, but yes, your candidate. Okay? Yes, sir. All these things that you've said in the manifesto, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is in, you call the Renew Hope, I've never heard Bola Tinubu speak more than one or two things other than Agbado and Bru. Nothing. I've never heard him talking about... Wait, can I finish? Can I finish? I'll just... 10 seconds. I've never heard him speak about this, your... Uh, all the good things you have said. He's going to do this. He's going to do housing. He's go I've never heard him... All he's talking about is Albado, and maybe because he has some issues, which I don't know, but what we see online or on TV, maybe he, he cannot express himself very well. And I, I hope and I have wished that I should have taken you as one of the spokesperson that could be able to explain to Nigerians all these beautiful things that you are saying, because some of them are hearing it from you. I've never heard it from Bola Ahmed. You know, sorry to say that. You understand? And to end up my this thing. How can Bola attend Ahmed Tinubu? How? I, I want to wonder how all these things that you're going to do, you know, in PDP, our, our own is five points agenda. Five points. We're trying to be realistic. What we can do within a period of four years, not eight years. Because what APC is talking about, they're talking about eight years. We're talking four years laid by the Constitution. We have five point agenda. This is what we want to do, one, two, three. But you have like 30 or 50. That you want to do how do you want to achieve that within the period of four years can you please tell nigerians how you want to do that hmm. okay so, so there was something you said and yeah. you said that my candidate um doesn't talk about his manifesto i don't know if Atiku also talks about his manifesto absolutely or... absolutely absolutely okay. absolutely now now there's a reason why i'm saying this i'm saying this because there's one thing he will say in his manifesto you don't hmm. expect him where he's going to speak 15 minutes for him to start reading everything for his money. So he pick point by point. So now he says, he always says commodity boards. You are a farmer, you understand the meaning of commodity boards, right? You understand the meaning of commodity futures. He talks about that. And for Nigerians that don't, that may not really understand what commodity boards are, it means that he's saying that as a farmer, if you are going to farm, for example, the Agbado that we are talking about, the corn. In international market today, corn is selling for $6.75 per bushel. In the market also, when you talk about wheat, wheat is selling for about $7.60 something cents per bushel. If you're talking about soybeans, it's selling for about $15 and maybe 70 something cents per bushel. Why am I giving you all of this? All of this? I know all of these things because I look at the commodity boards. It means that a farmer, wherever he farms in Nigeria, knows the price. Is going to bring those put those bots in place and now you are going to eliminate the middleman the action of the middleman and you're also also going to eliminate the action of the uh, what do they call them those uh, market associations those are the two pick up people that make food prices expensive in nigeria so he's saying that he's going to eliminate that also he talks about commodity futures meaning as a farmer you can trade 
say, okay, yes, yeah, so by the, I'm going to, I'm going to um, 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 grow this. And when I grow this, in six months time, I'm going to yield. I'm going to have a yield. That six months time, you already sold it already. Like more like you are sold out. So you've already priced it. You've already sold it at the time. So that's called commodity futures. So you can even get that money. You are short of that money. It's been traded three months, six months, a year from that time. Also, he understands in agriculture that you are going to have what's he called. Because 40% of our produce in Nigeria gets bad or perished because of lack of storage facilities. And now you can look at Lagos State, for example. Sonwolu actually launched about two or three storage facilities last year. You can also look at... That's, these are the things he says. This, I'm, no, no, no. You asked me the question on agriculture. Let me explain. Because I gave... No, I gave an example. Or No, you didn't ask that. You said that there's one thing he says. You said there's one uh, thing he says. I did not, not ask explain. you. I, I asked know. you something very simple. It was very, because we don't have time. I'm actually very simple. We're going to elections. All of us have and to that's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you that these are the things. He talks about commodity bonds and commodity futures. And I'm explaining to you. you the usual Bongoli, I put it to you. Bongoli, I put it to you. The usual deviation tactics. The same way you follow, you're very passionate about your candidate. The same way I follow both all the can I mean all the candidates. I watch their life, I watch their their their, their rallies and all that. What I'm putting it to you, Bongoli, the way you are selling this so-called manifesto or the, the renewed hope, your candidate is not doing that. So if why you are going to tell us why should you do that when you ask people like Bongo? You know I don't bullshit. Bongo, you know I don't bullshit. No, no, no. Bongo, I don't bullshit. Bongo, I don't bullshit. No why? Because all the rallies he has gone to, all the rallies he has gone to, take for example Katsina. Look at Katsina. Look at Borno. I can count straight mm -hmm. for you. Bola Ahmed Tinubu did not talk for more than... He didn't make any sense for more than three minutes. What about Atiku? Tell me about you Atiku. As Atiku talked about the manifesto... Wait, I'm, 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 telling telling you, I'm, telling I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to castigate your candidate. I'm only telling you that what you are selling... What you, Bongoli, you are telling mm -hmm. us and every other Nigerian about this beautiful mm -hmm. renewed hope. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't hear from your candidate. He barely speaks for less than three minutes. It's, it's, now it's because, it's because you, are, it's, you are suffering from confirmation bias. No, 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 no. I'm no, no, no. no. I'm not. Bongoli, I'm not. Bongoli, I'm not. sure you can give that to me. No, no, no. no. I said you, Bongoli. I don't mean, mean you. I don't mean you directly, sir. I, I'm not attacking you directly. I'm not. I'm not attacking yeah, you. I'm, I'm saying, just saying. You see, we're having this. You know what I want to hear what you have to say. You know what I'm. I'm. Do you know why I'm asking these things? Because believe me, if you were the one running for president, I would kick up and I would vote for you. I will work for you. Thank you, sir. You understand? But, but I'm, but not, I'm just but saying that. I don't have the leadership. I'm saying now. that. I'm saying that, Bongoli, understand what I'm trying to say. Just you are selling something that is not sellable. One, listen to me why I'm saying that. Because we cannot, he cannot, he has not been able to confront the Nigerian people and say, look, this is what I want to do for you. This is what I want to do for you. You are selling it better than when they're selling it. So it's how it's can it's you tell me? You talk about commodity no. more than commodity oh. futures and agriculture. I'm saying don't get upset. Don't get upset. I don't get upset. We're having a conversation. We're having a conversation. I know, I'm not getting upset. I'm not getting upset. I'm not getting I'm saying to you. I'm saying to you. The way you're selling the APC, the way you're selling the APC, not the APC, See, let me say, Bola Ahmed, your candidate, with all these beautiful things that he wants to do, that you are telling, you are telling us, I have never seen that from him or heard from him, really, and I follow his campaign because I'm from the north. You know why I follow the campaign from the north? Because I'm a northerner. Because I want to see how can this guy take my north where I belong to. It's like if I go to the south, it's the same thing. This is what's happening. Whether we like it or not, that's the truth. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't hear things from him because I, I don't bother watching him when he's in Ogun State. Because that's not my primary, that's not my primary hold, stronghold. So when it comes to my stronghold, where I believe that I have a say, I get to understand, I get to listen to what most of my people. So that if my party has been on the board, you know, I'm a party man, at least there's things I can say to my party people that even I'm not on forefront, they will listen. So I'm saying to you, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, with all due respect, His Excellency, I respect him, a brilliant guy. But at this stage, bro, at this stage, the man is not selling what you're selling. And that's the truth. 
Whether you like it or not. Priya has not said APC, anything yet. I think Priya is reading. Priya has been reading our manifesto. I'm reading the top Peter. Oh, you're coming on top. You're ready enough. You're ready enough. You're coming on top. You're coming on top. You're coming on top. You're coming on top. I have oh, yeah, yeah, an yeah. NBA class talk. going on while I'm, I'm on this live. Like I don't I think can, I, I my manifesto is this, on yes. paper. I have a class going on, but I'm going to say something. APC thrives on deception. They build everything they've ever they, they've ever built on deception. That is why they have nothing sustainable. They come, they tell you they want to deliver you from themselves. Um, the candidate says he will continue from where Buhari stopped and then comes back again they start to fight within themselves we have not heard from any of the governors since nigeria has been in calamity we've had complaints people have had human rights issues people have uh, nigeria became the poverty capital under them we have issues answers came the palliative um, saga happened different things have occurred over the years and suddenly a naira policy drives them crazy because their own their own president who they whom they swore that is the next best thing after a slice of lemon cake is now the person to pull the rock from under Priya their cap, the under the their feet. I will turn not Nigeria from consumption to production. He has not said anything. They don't know. They will not tell you what they are doing. I will talk about the now. I will talk about the experiences of the Nigerian people. And you will not speak to me quiet. You will not speak to me quiet. I will talk about the expo. I don't think the expo. That's the thing. You will read the expo. I will not speak to you quiet. You could never read it. You could never understand what you were saying. Well, Rocky did not plan. I did not plan. I did not plan. I did not plan. Okay, I know something. Let me finish. I did not plan to come and explain my the manifesto to you. That is not my business. You claim that you have read it, so clearly you are not looking for answers. You are biased. You talk about bias, and you are the most biased person on this live right now as we speak. So as I will say, the current government, the incumbent government, whom this man represents on this life has is what has gotten us to this point don't believe anything he says we need a, a breath of fresh air we need someone who is stand, who, 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 will stand, who will stand who will stand the wind in the right the direction can i talk 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 the only difference one minute Exactly. One minute. I will, I've not because been able to talk. He has been shouting and waving broom, All driving right. fire. Well, the, the, the only difference between you and Chief Fernandez is that you are shouting. It was calm. Please stop, stop it. You are, you are spoiling the character. Uh -huh. As I was saying, Bongoli is represented, though he comes with all the statistics. However, his candidate contradicts everything he represents on this life. So that means they, they are deceiving us pretty much. Their senior advocate went on the TV to say that the agents, polyurethane agents, needs mi need minerals. That's why they're one of the reasons why they are fighting for the Naira policy. Those same minerals cannot be bought with the lower denomination. You see, this deception is excessive. It's ex this, this deception is this deception is excessive. And and really, Nigerians, I want to promise you, my fellow citizens of Nigeria, you all deserve better. Your lives deserve better we need to get our dignity back we need to get our lives back we need to get our humanity back we don't deserve this level of poverty we are a rich nation with a budding labor force and population and we're scattered around the country and uh, sorry around the world globally making strides but our home country is the way it is because people like bongoli on here continue to insist that nigerians should remain with the status quo i'm here to tell you something even if by chance tinubu did what he did as governor unfortunately these politicians have refused to normalize retirement so they feel like oh uh, even if i'm 100 what i did when i was 40 is applicable well, that is not the case. This man is clearly sick. During the national anthem, he raises his staff, uh, his um, support stick or his staff, and he has to be reminded that during the national anthem, you stand, at, you stand firm 
and with your hands down, he has to raise his hands. He is not capable of making the decisions that this man is deceiving you all here for. We need a healthy and a dependable president. We we right. don't intend to know oh. it all from the beginning, but through research and the cooperation of Nigerians, we will progress. And Peter Obi is the only candidate that is representing you, the Ni Nigerian people, and no other person, no cabal, no nothing, just you, the Nigerian people. You own that ticket, and this is why you should vote for Peter Obi. Thank you. All right. Um, so, thank you all so much. Everybody has one minute each. You guys, you guys overshot the time. You guys really overshot the time. Um, so, everybody's going to get their one minute, and I'm going to remove you the moment your one minute is done. I'm timing you. So, once you finish your one minute, I just remove you. No need to tell you time up, time up, time up again. So, um, so far, that this is the last this is the last episode of that is that's, that's, why the last episode. Episode. that's why I'm allowing excesses. <laughs> now big Um you guys have done so well. You are leading Star Wars with twenty two thousand stars. Now all you need to do is go to Facebook, search for Daddy Freeze, click on today's video and buy your stars. Team Tinubu led by Michael. Michael for Team Tinubu. 22,000 stars. Currently leading, right? Oh my goodness. Brie, 13,950. Chibu's on Woko. Brie, 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 Leading now with 28,000 stars. Big shout out to Team OB. <laughs> and we have five. <laughs> you, Brie, Brie has decided today to take on our <laughs> buyers for the last how many months, showing them that OB is capable. 28,000 stars for Team OB, only 22,000 for Team Tinubu, who, by the way, a few moments ago, we're leading. Star Wars ends in exactly five minutes. Uh -huh. Star Wars comes to an end in exactly five minutes. And the time has started counting. So, everybody gets their one minute. You, If you don't stop at exactly 60 seconds, you will be removed. So, so your sign off. Starting that if this is our last episode, make it two minutes. It's our last episode. After this, no more. Let me speak Spanish. No mass. No mass. That okay. is the two last minutes, one. After two minutes, you'll be yanked. Uh, two minutes. Hey, gracias, okay. senor. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I am, Daddy Freeze. Your two exact minutes start now. Okay, so this is the closing um, speech. I'll say one thing in essence. After all is said and done, what matters the most is you, the Nigerian people, the citizens, um, the quality of the lives that you live. And what matters again is that you have a candidate for once that puts humanity first and compassion. We know that it's important to function and make decisions based off of data. However, data is not the only factor with data and with the wrong um, people in the seat of power, we will continue to wallow in the same problems and complain about the same vices in our society and in our economy that we've always complained about. Peter Obi has represented the Nigerian people because he has connected with us. I will ask this question again. Where is our humanity? Are we going to put it aside and continue to, with all this mumbo jumbo, or are we going to put our humanity and our lives and the lives of every Nigerian first? On that Peter will be the life of every Nigerian will ma matter and will count. Nobody is too small. No Nigerian is too small. We as Nigerians, concerned Nigerian citizens, dream of a Nigeria where everybody, even the son of nobody, can become somebody without knowing anybody and can thrive in the system. We, it is possible for us to 
steer our country in the right direction. I will continue to use these examples. Rwanda did it. Singapore did it. We can do it. And we don't have to continue to accept the status quo, all the corrupt practices in our electoral system, and even in governance. We deserve much better. Put yourself first. Your well-being and your, your, your mental health and even your personal economy as an individual first. When you take all those factors into consideration, you know that APC has nothing to offer you going forward. They've exhausted all their ideas. If they, were, they, if they had such great ideas, they would have been able to support their current sitting president to make your lives better. But unfortunately, that's not the case. We need a regulated economy. We need um, uh, an educated population. And we need people to begin to believe in Nigeria again. The ticket that represents all the hope and potential that will turn us in the right direction is the Obidati ticket. It not just represents hope, it also represents the, the real Nigerian people. It is a balanced ticket and it's an unbiased ticket. And it is there for you. It is run, that particular candidacy was run by you and I, the Nigerian people, and no godfather or cabal. So please vote for Labour Party. The logo is Mama, Papa, and Peking. Thank you. Over to you, Musti. Your time begins now. Okay, quickly, I just want to say something. I don't have so much to say, but uh, I just want to address something that's very important. You know, I look at the comment sections, and I'm, I'm reading some of the comment sections. I just want to say something to those people on this life. With all due respect, we respect you. We want to thank you for everything, for support, for giving us this support on this platform. But also, I want to say, I want to say something to some specific people, which I'm not going to call their names. Look, you can't, if they give you the opportunity to come and do what we do now, you can't even, you, you will not even last for one day. So don't just sit in the comfort of your home with your small, cheap internet. I'm not someone that likes to, you know, to, to, toot, your, to toot my horns. And I'm not joking about this. I'm very serious about it. So if you want to disrespect people, you know, all of us here, we are not enemies. We support our different parties. You know, we are passionate about parties. So don't come on life and start insulting people. I'm, I'm one person that's never come on this life to even comment on what the, you know, people on the comment section are saying. But let me tell you something. Whether you say anything bad about me or say anything bad about any of the, 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 the debaters here, my brother, we big past you. That's why we're here. I don't like to be arrogant, but sometimes I have to be arrogant. I big pass you, big pass your papa, in any level. So don't come here and be insulting people. You don't know what people have gone through. In this game of politics, you are lucky now there's internet, you can buy cheap data. And you come and be talking rubbish on, on, on when, we're, when people are talking serious issues. Uh, the way we're coming to tell you that you must, we must vote our candidates. So please, you know, with all due respect, we love all the fans, but some of the fans here are very... I'm very, very, in fact, I'm very upset. You don't come out upset people. You don't, we are people of pedigree here. In any level, you won't take it, but we have pedigree. So don't come and be insulting people and be even saying that, you know, say some shit about that. If I'm reading it, this thing is not easy that we do. It's not easy at all. Don't come here and insult people. Anyways, I won't tell you, whatever it is, Nigerians, go out, vote who you want to vote. Whether it be BAT, uh, you know, PDP, or, 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 or Labour Party. The most important thing we should always remember that we're Nigerian first and the election will finish and life will continue. Regardless of whatever anybody says about any candidate here. Do you think whatever you say about the candidate here will affect him? It won't affect him. And God has already made whoever is going to win is going to win. So don't come on people's life that you feel to spend the whole day planning this whole thing and you're coming to insult people with your mates. Is it because we come here with our own life? Something is wrong with you. There's somebody particular, I don't want to call the person's name. I'll buy you and buy your papa, buy your whole family. I've never been rude on this kind of event, on this life. I don't want people to insult Mention people. Person, Thank you so me, much, Daddy Priest. Person. Mention the person. Let me block him. You know, this thing has people gone up, so I'm trying to look for the person's name. I don't like to be rude. I'm, 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 I'm a very humble person. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I'm not being rude. I go block him. I'm not being rude. He no one gets rude. I'm not being rude. Thank you so much for giving me your platform. Priye, I'll see you at the polls on, on Saturday. May the best man win. Thank you. All right, over to you, Bongoli, your final two minutes. Uh, thank you very much, Dad. Daddy Freeze, how I wish that Priye uses this energy that she uses to defend Peter Obi and support him. She uses it to attack a governor in Bayesa State that plunged our state into the second poorest state in Nigeria. 
88.5% multidimensionally poor in Bayelsa State, with all of the, they receive the third highest federal allocation in Nigeria. They are collecting Do you have any idea what I'm doing with Do you know me? Do you know me? You know me? You know me? Oh. You don't know me. Priye, Priye, you can't oh. Oh. Say your closing speech and leave I'm me out of your now. mouth. Oh, I'm on a roll now. Oh. oh. This is our two minutes uninterrupted now. Only two minutes uninterrupted. I beg you guys, uninterrupted. She has, made, she has scattered my flu. But no problem. I will get back to her again. So now, <laughs> she laughed. <laughs> Priye, oh, my minute. Priye, oh, my minute. Now, my sister. So, to my southeastern brothers and sisters, see the way you are, every, any little thing that happens in Lagos, or as you are, you charge your team. How I wish you guys use that energy to charge at your state governors. Because if you read the 1999 constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, you know how important your state governors are. You have governors like Piazu, like, uh, what's his name? Ibiazu and Ugwani uh, giving people that had children 500 naira. You say, do you know what 500 naira means? For so, a lady that just put to bed? Look at the kind of governors that you have. No wonder people are celebrating a mediocre, below par governor called Peter Ubi. Go and read the article on Naira Land now. 2012. Go and read what Ibos were saying about Peter Ubi. Now let me Naira move on. Land. So those of you that want to go and vote Peter Ubi, you see she's interrupting me again, Daddy, please. Continue, Bongo. Now, now let, let's talk about don't waste your votes with Peter Obi and Labour Party and all of that. You know why? Because the treatment that they gave Musa Balarabi in 1979 when he was under the PRP and the house in Kaduna State was NPN. For two years, he could not do anything because he couldn't move all of the, all of the projects and all of the projects and all of that. They, they impeached him because Peter Obi only has about, only about 68% of House of Rep, Federal House of Rep, and Senate. That's the amount of candidates they have to vie for. The, and those people are featherweight. Only 68%. And they are featherweight. Don't waste your vote. Come, come Saturday. Vote for somebody that you know that has a track record in Lagos State. Too. True track record. Go on my story now and just go and look at what he did on Amadou Velo Way and Adiola Deku. How they expanded the real estate in that area. Go there and go and look at it too. And look at the, the Lekki Free Trade Zone. Look at the, the rail, metro rail and all of that. Now, back to the southeast again. Guys, Simon Epa has put it at home on the 23rd to the 28th. You guys need to go and fix that. This is a note of warning. One guy is sitting there in Finland and telling people, uh, don't come out and vote. It's your civic right and your civic duty. Someone will be telling you people that people should not go out on Monday. But it's Lagos State that is, that, that, that is the problem. Anything we do in Lagos State, I should I do that, I should I do that. Face that. We need your votes. We need you to come out and, and, and exercise your civic duty. Now, back to Atiku. Atiku just wants to sell all your assets to. And I don't know if people know the meaning of Atiku in Yoruba. It means Atiku, we don't die. That is the meaning of Atiku. I'm up. Daddy freeze. Last, I'm up. Daddy freeze. Last, 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 last. Daddy freeze. Now, Ashwaju is a job creator. Ashwaju is a revenue creator. We need that to push our human development index which is education, healthcare, and standard of living. And I feel like Shuaji is the best man for it. Thank you all very much. I love you all. Go out on the 25th and let your vote count. We need you guys to vote. Thank you all. I love you all. Bye. Love you all. Thank you. All right. Absolutely awesome opportunity we've had to all come together and um, speak to one another in this particular uh, live. Big shout out to everybody. It's a tie. It's never happened before. It is actually a tie on Star Wars. 34,000 stars to Timo B and 34,000 stars to Team um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Now, I'm going to... Um, one has a little bit more on the 34. The other, I'm, not going, I'm just going to look at the 34. Um, so I'm going to just declare a tie. Oh, my goodness. Fate Paris. Last minute, 1,000 stars. So She's obedient. Oh, my goodness. Michael and Yusuf. Last minute, 13,000 stars. 
something within the three i mean within the whole team okay. and i think we need to uh i have to post the bubble here uh we're going to show you a sign of appreciation you know this uh, this this thing you do you do for you know people pay you for this and you gave us this platform thank you the platter of gold you know and uh daddy freeze you're just a wonderful wonderful guy you know I, i'm so proud to call my my i call you my friend i'm very very proud of it you're fine you're not my friend you're my brother and we, the dream leaders, we decided we're going to do something and we're going to give you a gift, you know? We're going to give you a gift. I mean, we're not going to say it online, but we're going to give you a gift. And I will give you the gift when we come back after the election because we're going to have a pre, uh, post election, right? That's what we'll discuss about. Yes. Post election, we'll come and analyze this. Who's up for it? Priya, are you what? up for it? Well, I'm up for it. I want to mm. see Labour Party 10,000 votes in Sokoto State or 5,000 in Sokoto State. I have a call and make fun so of that them. Is, ah, thank I you so much. On behalf of everybody in my own team, Team Atiku, I want to thank you so right. much for giving, second, for giving me this opportunity. Over. Thank you. Thank you. It's over, guys. But in one second, I saw a pastor prophesy that neither of your candidates is going to win. Instead, the president will be Yemi or Shimbajo. Quickly. 10, 10 seconds. What are your thoughts? That what? Uh, that that you we don't go by we don't go by propaganda. We go by what we're able. The efforts we're able to put in on the campaign trail. We don't go by all that propaganda. Um, uh, many people have uh, come, please, many people have please, come if you in different that, prophecies. If you were saying so, that, we're not going by Sunday. that. We're just going please, to put in the hard work and try to, to, to win the election. Very sorry. Let me just. And let us elaborate a little bit. If Freeze was saying this last Sunday sermon that he does, because I follow his sermon, mm -hmm. I follow him. I, I mean, even I'm a Muslim, I, I want to listen. Mm -hmm. I want to learn. If Freeze has said that none of our candidates will win this, is, yeah, they don't see any of our candidates as the president. It's somebody else. I will believe Freeze. But some traditional pastors, past no, pastors, I just trying to get some. We you don't go by that. Back, I'm sorry. You want me? Right. You want me to get a recognition? Who can recognize them? We're not going to organize them. Now, 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 I also <laughs> did say something. I said we're going to have a peace pact, and everybody's going to sign it digitally. Simple. I, you mentioned your name. I support. You mentioned your team. I endorse a peaceful election. Oh yes. Yeah. I love oh, yeah. Atiku Abubakar. He has said this, but he said no ambition is greater than Nigeria. No ambition mm -hmm. is more important than blood. I give that up to Atiku Abubakar. He said that in River State. So your, your fans are listening. Some of these fans can be extremely passionate. 
some of these fans can take things into their hands and over exaggerate things so one by one please i want you to say to sign a digital peace pact as leaders of because you guys have become very influential whether you like it or not people look up to you they respect you you can agitate the polity and you can cool down the polity just by virtue of what you stood for for the last year. <coughs> so who's going to go first? Priye, in the same order we started, please sign a peace pact. Okay, my name is Priye Obozwa and I support Peter Obi for president. I promise to be peaceful and reasonable this election period and to take everybody's opinions into consideration and not to incite any form of violence. Thank you. But minus jabs, my jabs continue, yeah. but I will be peaceful. There's violence is allowed. It's violence that is not allowed. Not violence, but violence. <laughs> All right, over to you, Musi. Peace Pact. Um, good evening, everybody, or good morning. My name is Mustafa Mohammed Ibrahim Alpha. Um, I support Atuko Abakar for to become the president of Nigeria, and I promise, on behalf of my party as a party member, and on behalf of my candidate, that we support a peaceful election and inshallah a peaceful transition. Thank you. Bongoli, over to you. Good evening, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good night, everyone. My name is Ayodeji Bakari, and, and I am a strong advocate for Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinbu. And I'm telling everyone, all Nigerians, both in Nigeria and in the diaspora, that violence is never the answer. Change can only come via voting and legislation. Please shun any form of electoral violence, shun any and every form of electoral malpractice. May the best man win on the 25th, and um, God bless Nigeria, God bless the world, God bless everyone. God bless Thank you very much, everyone. Of the supporters. <laughs> God bless the God bless my kids. I'm going to cut out this end part and I'm going to post it as a message of its own on Friday so everybody yes. knows that more important than anything, Nigeria cannot go into... We have to avoid any form of bloodshed. So yeah. thank you yes. once again. Team Tinu, thank you. Um, you, Bongoli, are going to have to do a video saying you support uh, Tinu and you're going to tell them how to vote. You're going to say we are the winners of Star Wars. That was, that was the plan for today. Whoever wins, the team leader, would introduce their... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Michael. Now, <laughs> because team OB came second, they are not going to get a video. They are going to get a post. Daddy Freeze, they should not get anything. Daddy Freeze, I, we won. We yeah, won. No, it's not a call. In fact, we're not a call. Daddy Freeze, we don't agree. Yeah, we don't agree. He's Daddy Freeze's platform. platform. He can do whatever he wants with his platform. Listen. <laughs> they get they are our children. They are our children. Are our children. Yeah. Don't worry. So they allow can do post, but not video. Allow them. No, not video. They are just... Uh, they are just, just, just post. They uh, can do post. So I give them that. Also, appreciate the fact that they came through and they also did exceedingly well. They dragged this matter till the end. It was that thirteen thousand that jumped in back bar last minute that scattered. Hope they were leading actually. Eh? Big shout out. No, that, that that police and the police. Case. And that police. And I need to appreciate um uh, um Brume because not only did they debate. Especially Brume consistently by 500 stars, 1,000 stars, consistently. He was the one that even said, why is the Facebook not on? He went to quickly go and buy stars. I appreciate you. I appreciate every debater, but I appreciate those who went the extra mile to, to support the Star Wars while themselves debating. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate 
all you guys Thank are you, children. You guys Thank are you, big. Sir. Thank you. You guys are big. Bongo Lee. You. Um, you left your marriages, your uh, work, your careers. You every... Daddy Freeze is marriage. What marriage? Sorry, your sneaking. <laughs> <laughs> You did not leave your marriage. It's not like you broke up your home, so but you <laughs> left your husband, wives, children. Yeah, your partners. Your, your partners. You 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 put them aside and focus on this every single week. The the the, the tears, the sweats, the fighting, the begging, the pleading. We are not doing it again. Okay, please, we will do. It, it was not easy, but you guys made it happen, and I. I and I support you all with saying, may the best man win. Because the three candidates are all amazing candidates. And I do hope whoever wins will make Nigeria great again. Take care, everyone. Daddy Freeze, Daddy Freeze, one, one thing, Daddy Freeze, please, before you go, um, I just want me to answer something, which is very, very key. Um, thank you. Once Say a vote of thanks to we, three of us, those are three of us, eh? we are going to come on a life before the election. We, we three of us will come on a life. We will invite you, so we are saying now to the public that we invite you, you come on our own life, you understand? And you must, you, you have to acknowledge that you will come, so that it's in the record that you said you will come on our life. We know you are very busy, we will find a time, we will have our own life and we will invite you to show our appreciation. And number two, I want to say to all the fans, I I want to say I apologize but I've busted out tonight. I'm just human. You know, I'm human. I'm human. I apologize if I have busted out tonight. I didn't mean to insult anybody. But, you know, let's always please respect each other. It's not about the clash of the supporters. We might meet somewhere tomorrow. I might be a governor of my state tomorrow. I say, like, I know that guy from Clash of the Supporters. I, I sincerely I do apologize for busting out. This is not me. That's no, not no, what no. I represent. And I want to say thank you for supporting us. And Priya, I love you so much. Bongoli, run if, for president. If you are apologizing, what should I do? What should we do? What should Bongoli do? Yeah. If you are apologizing. No, for busting out. I apologize. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you very much. I love you all. I I miss you all. Love thank you all too. Thank you yeah, so you much, do. Daddy Freeze. Thank you, Daddy Shana. Bye, everyone. Bye, Nigeria. Bye. See you guys on, on the 25th. Bye.